this video, we'll dive into the Easter eggs you may have missed in season one of Netflix's Three Body Problem. These Easter eggs have significance in the rest of the story and have importance beyond their initial appearance. Analysis is based on the original books, research into the new series, and our own analysis. This video contains brief spoilers for season one of the Netflix Three Body Problem series, but does not contain spoilers for the rest of the original book series. However, this video does contain hints, speculation, and foreshadowing of what may come next. First up is Will Downing's Fairy Tale Book. Gifted by Jin Chang, this is a book that Will treasures and knows very well. Although now Will is basically dead and his brain has drifted far off into space, all that is left of that book is in his and Jin's memories. Although it seems that all is pretty bleak in his part of the story, perhaps the themes and morals told in our beloved fairy tales are not all lost. We may wish for a fairy tale ending somehow, but most fairy tales outside of the Disney version are actually much grimmer than they seem. So would a fairy tale ending be good at all? What the fairy tales mean will come back later on in the story unfolding and unraveling hidden meanings. Second up are the origami and paper boats. Although these are a symbol for Jin and Will's relationship, what motion propels the ship in its movement on the water? Wind. Yes, but what medium does wind move through? It moves through air, which takes up space. The rain falling down onto the boat and water also reminds me of how stars look in pictures that are taken using long exposure photography. This easter egg of boats and ships is perhaps a window into making something move out of nothing or how movement can change depending on the technique you frame it. Easter egg number three, the space fleet on the moon. Raj, a naval officer, requests to join the first space fleet that is being built on Mare Imbrium on the moon. He volunteers to spearhead one of the biggest leaps in technology and instead of being from the Air Force, he is from the Navy. This is a conscious decision and hints that if space warfare is going to mirror certain strategies of naval warfare, this may lead to certain implications and related strategies. Easter egg number 4, Fishbowl. Jin brings a fishbowl to Will and the goldfish accompanies him till the end. The goldfish lives on even after he technically does not. Additionally, the goldfish lives in a bowl of water because it is unable to survive on our flat land breathing just our air. This shows that two different species need fundamentally different spaces to survive. This symbol and easter egg will be important later on in the story. Easter egg number 5, Sofan's katana and outfit. Sofan's outfit alludes to a warrior state, and her katana shows strength. This persona symbolizes the sentiments and strategy of the Santi. Be on the lookout for how she is presented, as she is a symbol of the Santi civilization's sentiment and perception towards humanity. Next up is the Eye in the Sky. The Eye in the Sky symbolizes the Santi always watching over Earth through Sofan's, like Big Brother. The eye also mirrors what the surface of Earth looks like, distorting the space in the sky and clouding what humanity sees. Additionally, this eye in the sky imagery appears in the third book, Death's End, as well, but in a different context. Like the Eye of Sauron in Lord of the Rings was a symbol of evil and destruction at its core, perhaps the Eye in the Sky here signifies something greater, more sinister, destructive, and more far-reaching than the scale of what the Santi use the Sofans to currently do. Easter Egg Number 7 The Hibernation or Cryosleep Chamber this technology was newly developed and available to Wade, who decides he wants to be the first to hibernate. If hibernation technology was available now, would you choose to hibernate? If you say yes, it's most likely because you are hopeful that the future will be better for you. But in Three Body Problem, the Santi's impending arrival means that the future will likely be worse and that the present is the best time to be alive in. So, perhaps the people who hibernate are really the ones who are the most brave. Keep on the lookout for this technology and its implications for humanity. Easter egg number 8, The Great Escape Business. Clarence Shee's son, Reg or Reg, not sure how to pronounce it, I'm gonna go with Reg, is a gamer and self-proclaimed entrepreneur. 
Reg has a new business idea called The Great Escape. The idea is to create a pension fund-like pool of money where users subscribe and put money into it to buy a safe future for your descendants on Mars and habitable planets. This is one of the first ideas that shows how the economy may shift now that the news of an alien invasion is made public. The Great Escape shows how escapism, or ideology and sentiments around escaping the coming Santi conquest, will gradually become a big deal. Reg she is escapism in its bud. His quote, so this, all of this, is this real? Because if this is what real is, then I'm not interested, shows that he does not want to think about what the real problem is, and instead wants to find a way to escape the new world that the Santi will shape. Next up, the conversation at the tombstone. Saul was the last person that Yeowen just spoke to before she left to China and before she passed away, and this conversation occurred at the tombstone of her daughter, Vera. Although it seems that they speak in jokes and riddles about unrelated concepts, the next big thing that happens is Saul becoming a wall facer that the Santi seemed to target deliberately, all after that specific conversation with Yeowen Jie. This conversation has significant importance for the rest of the series, but the conversation deserves its own breakdown and analysis, and that will be for another video. Our last easter egg of the video are the wall facers. The number three is central to the plotline. Not only is the title of the series Three Body Problem, there are now three wall facers in the show. In the original books, there were four, but this reduction of the number of wall facers simplifies the overarching plot slightly while also hinting at the relative unimportance of at least one of the wall facers. However, it is important to have multiple minds working at the same time at this near impossible task of devising a defense plan all in one's own mind. What plans these might be and how this may play out is certainly something to look forward to. This video summarized 10 easter eggs that you may have missed with analysis of each of them of what to keep in mind for the storyline. If you liked this video or learned something new, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching!